And we're here after Team Ireland's 2 1 victory over Korea in the 2019 GC Summer University. I had your shoes in quarter finals as group winners. Can you sum up how you're feeling right now? Oh, we're delighted. All the girls are buzzing. Um, we put in some performance there against even the first match Brazil, reigning champions, and then South Korea. Uh, the girls dug in deep and they just we got what we deserved. Can you explain how tough it was? It was very warm out and again you, you only played uh, your last game on Tuesday. Uh, can you describe how much energy you have left right now? Basically none. <laughs> it's a hot day. We're, we're not used to these conditions, but we over the last few days since we got here, we climatised. But it's tough. It's tough for all teams, not just us. It's You're working 90 minutes of the match and even more than 90 minutes. And it's just, you use 100% of your energy and the girls are just... We have a few days to recover and we're just going to keep pushing on to squad funds. Just talk through your goals, so did, could you believe your luck three, min three minutes in when, you, uh, when you've when you gone through and the keeper the keeper's going to the over? Ah yeah, she clipped me. <laughs> so Megan said to me, oh, do you want to take it? And I was like, ah yeah, I might as well. <laughs> and then I was just lucky, there was a great ball over the top by Lauren and I just got on the end of it and just seen the keeper just off her line and just went for it. And, uh, you won't find out until Saturday now who you play in the quarterfinals, so how will you, and there is a bit of a break, so how will you spend, how will you, will you and the team spend the next couple of days? Well, I think we have day off tomorrow, so we have to get a recovery in and, and all that, but whoever comes at us will we'll prepare well and hopefully do the business again, like we have done in the last two games. All right. yeah.